Welcome back to Reality Bites Back, where we bring you the latest and most jaw-dropping news updates from around the world. Today, prepare to be stunned as we delve into a major announcement that is set to shake the very foundations of our reality. Stay tuned as we uncover the truth and bring you the latest headlines. Let's dive in. Rebecca Parrott from 90 Day Fiancé is seeking donations from her fans to cover legal expenses for the custody of her grandson. Rebecca debuted in 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days Season 3 with Zaid Hakami and later married him in 90 Day Fiancé Season 8. Since the couple's wedding in 2020, they've been living a happy married life in the United States. Despite the 22-year age gap, Rebecca and Zaid are still together. Recently, the couple celebrated their fourth wedding anniversary and are still going strong. While Rebecca's married life is going well, she is facing a difficult situation as a grandmother, as her grandson is currently in an unsafe environment. In a recent video, Rebecca tearfully appealed to her fans to donate to her GoFundMe campaign to help cover legal bills for an attorney to ensure her grandson is removed from an unsafe living situation and placed in a loving environment. Rebecca emphasized the urgency of the situation, stating that the legal fees are beyond her family's means and that time is of the essence. Reality TV is more popular than ever. With so many to choose from, here are some of the best reality TV shows to stream or watch right now. Rebecca requested her fans who are unable to donate to pray for her family and send positivity to them during this challenging time. Some 90-day fiancé fans have already contributed to Rebecca's GoFundMe, raising 1,508 out of the 6,500 goal. While many sympathize with Rebecca's situation, Others believe that there are many missing details in the story. For example, Instagram user at Claudia Glasgow 39 commented, If the child is in danger, call your local CPS ma'am. Another user at V. San Antonio 99 wrote, If you can afford Sonobolo and a new convertible, then legal fees should not be a problem. Fans are right to raise concerns about Rebecca's fundraiser, and suggest potential solutions including involving child protective services. Throughout the years, several cast members of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise have been accused of deceiving their fans through inappropriate fundraisers. For example, Brandon DiNuccio and Mary DeMasuai from 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way Season 5 initiated a fraudulent fundraiser claiming that Mary had colon cancer, which was untrue. Similarly, Stephen Friend sought financial assistance from fans and later stated that he had invested the money in real estate. While some 90-day fiancé stars have attempted to exploit their fame, it's worth noting that Rebecca has seldom sought to misuse her popularity. It's possible that she has already contacted Child Protective Services and is now exploring other options to ensure her grandson's well-being. Besides, Rebecca underwent the Sonobello procedure in 2021 without knowing what the future held for her. It's the first time Rebecca has reached out to fans for financial assistance and has shared ample details about the situation. For those skeptical of the 90-day fiancé alum, offering prayers may be a more appropriate response. 90-day fiancé, happily ever after, airs Sundays at 8 p.m. EDT on TLC. Source, Rebecca Parrot slash Instagram. Rebecca Parrot slash GoFundMe at Claudia Glasgow 39 slash Instagram V. San Antonio 99 slash Instagram 90 Day Fiancé is a reality TV series that follows the trials and tribulations of Nanyu. S. Citizens who travel from abroad each season to meet their potential spouses, utilizing a K-1 visa. This three-month visa gives the pair 90 days to determine whether or not their romantic and life goals are aligned before they are forced to return home unmarried. Drama and tension unfold as the couples navigate the tricky dynamics of international marriage.